वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11 डैश नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज सेलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट डब्ल्यू थ्री सिक्सटी शेप सेक्शन फ्राम अपेंडिक्स बी दैट कैन सेफली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग एक्टिंग ऑन ओवर हैंगिंग बीम द बीम इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टील हैविंग अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज 150 फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ एटी मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ओवर हैंगिंग बीम वेयर देर इज अ पॉइंट लोड ऑफ फिफ्टी किलो न्यूटन एट द एंड एंड फोर्टी किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड फ्राम दिस एंड टिल फोर मीटर एंड देर इज अ सपोर्ट ऑल्सो अगेन एट दिस पॉइंट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द लाइटेस्ट वेट डब्ल्यू थ्री सिक्सटी शेप सेक्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ वी रिमूव द रिएक्शन सपोर्ट सो डेफिनेटली देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स लेट दिस फोर्स इज आर बी एंड इफ वी रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट सो देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स एंड लेट दिस इज आर ए सो वील फाइंड दिस अन नोन फोर्स इज आर ए एंड आर बी सो हाउ विल फाइंड दैट वी विल यूज इक्वीशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम्स so let's move and apply the equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so about point b we have one force is r a and perpendicular distance is this one which is 4 meter and it will be producing clockwise rotation the second moment is due to this distributed load when we will convert this distributed load into point load so ot into 4 it will be converted into point load and perpendicular distance is 2 meter because it will act in the middle and this will produce counter clockwise moment it will be positive the third moment is due to this 50 kilo newton load and perpendicular distance is this 2 meter and it will also clockwise so it will be negative so there sum must be equal to 0 so i will write r a into perpendicular distance is this 4 and it is producing clockwise so it will be positive plus 40 when converted into point load so 40 into over length which is 4 meter it will be 160 and that will acting at a distance of half of a four which is 2 meter so 40 into 4 into 2 and that is counter clockwise so it will be positive minus 50 into perpendicular distance 2 is equal to 0 so definitely when you solve that you will get r a equal to 55 kilo newton now you have r a you can apply the another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so one force is r a the second one is r b the third one is this force which is minus 160 because it is downward and fourth one is this minus 50 because downward their sum must be equal to 0 so r a is 55 minus 40 into 4 which is distributed load and converted into point load plus r b minus 50 is equal to 0 so again when you solve all this you will get r b will be equal to 155 kilo newton now we have both these reaction forces you we will move toward um, shear force and bending moment diagram why we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram because Uh, we will choose we know that section modulus required section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment over allowable stress so we do not have maximum bending moment so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let's move and draw that so for that i will draw vertical line from here okay so let me draw vertical line from the end of the beam here you will draw the shear force that will be in kilo newton clear now let each division is 
or you can say the each division is 50 take it as 50 you can choose your own one okay so at point at this point r a we have r a which is 55 kilo newton so first point will be your this point i will choose another color your first point will be this one now you can see that uh, at this point till at this at a distance of 4 meter you can see when you multiply 40 with this 4 it will be 160 and that will be minus clear negative so this is plus 50 uh, sorry 55 this point is 55 so 55 minus 160 will be equal to minus 160 will be equal to 105 minus 105 so again at this point you have minus 105 so this is 150 this is 100 so minus 105 will be there so this will be your second point now at point uh, what we will do is that you can see that this is a horizontal so shear force will be one degree higher and the slope will be decreasing because it is negative so we will join these two points now at this point we have rb which is uh, 155 this is uh, this point was 105 clear and this is plus 155 so it will give you it will bring this to 150 so this is sorry 50 so shear force will change from minus 105 to 50 this is minus again you can see moving from this point till this point there is no other force so shear force will remain same so it will be from 50 to this now at this end you can see there is a minus 50 which bring it to zero so this will be your shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram so what we will do is that we will draw the bending moment diagram over here again we will have bending moment in kilo newton into meter okay so how you will find that again if you draw it uh, prop on a proper scale you will get this distance is 1.375 meter clear so the first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is equal to 1 over 2 into 55 multiplied by 1.375 and it will give you 37.81 okay so we will draw it let each division division is again 50 so this is 50 this will be 100 so first value is 37.85 which will be somewhere here let this is 37.81 so you can see that uh, shear force is a first degree line and slope is decreasing your bending moment will be second degree and it will be clockwise so we will draw it like a curve the second area is this area and this area is equal to 1 over 2 into 105 multiplied by this remaining distance and this remaining distance will be equal to 4 minus 1.375 so it will give you a negative value when we will add this with 37.81 so we will get minus 100 so at this point we will have minus 100 so this is minus 100 you can now do it so this is minus 100 so point will be this and again you can see that this is a straight line with the negative value slope is decreasing so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a curve and this will be a bending moment this point is minus 100 and again the third area is this one and this area is equal to 50 multiplied by 2 
which is equal to 100 so minus 100 plus 100 will bring it to zero so we will get the bending moment like a straight line because you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree now we have shear force and bending moment diagram so from bending moment diagram you can check that maximum bending moment that is mod is equal to minus 100 which is equal to minus 100 kilo newton into meter which is after taking mod it will be 100 kilo newton into meter and we have allowable stress that is given as 150 megapascal so you can put it in this formula so you will get the required section modulus so we will put s required is equal to 100 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 raised to power 6 so this will give you 0 0.6667 into 10 raised to power minus 3 we will convert it into millimeter because in appendix that is given in cubic millimeter so 666.67 into 10 to power 3 cubic millimeter now you have this required section modulus so again you have to go to appendix b and you will check w360 section so let's move and check that for that we will go to the end of the book that is w shape and we will check w360 w360 these are in inches so we will move downward now you can check over here this portion all these are w360 clear so we have sx that we have calculated 666 so you can check the value over here so this is the closest to 667 so 6688 into 10 raised to power 3 cubic millimeter so we will choose w360 by 45 you can note down their values this is the height of the beam this is thickness of the web and this is section modulus so we will write that so from appendix b section modulus which is equal to sx is 688 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter and this is for W360 by 45 while total height of the cross section is 352 millimeter and thickness of web is 6.86 millimeter so we select we select W360 by 45 now how we will confirm that uh, whether this section is okay or not so we will go to the shear stress shear stress and we know that sharing stress maximum is equal to maximum shear force divided by thickness of web into height so shear force maximum mod is 105 so 105 kilonewton so 105 into 10 to power 3 divided by 352 so 352 into 10 to the power minus 3 because we have to convert it into meter into 6.86 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you solve this you will get maximum shear stress comes out to be 43.48 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and that maximum sharing stress is 43.48 mega pascal so this is the maximum sharing stress that will be developed in this w360 by 45 now we have given 
allowable sharing stress is uh, 80 megapascal so you can see that your maximum sharing stress which is 48 3.48 is less than allowable so hence we can say that use w360 by 45 section so this was all about problem 11.9 i hope you have enjoyed this video if you you are new to my channel then subscribe it and click the bell icon so you can get the notification about my latest video thank you for watching